Hey everybody, this is Sully. We are going to run through Betaflight 4.0 development version, not a performance version for the F3 boards. When I did 3.5.2 on my last video, everyone said, hey, 4.0 is so much better than 3.5.2. So I'm gonna test it out and see. If you don't wanna watch through the setup, just skip to about the eight minute mark and uh, you'll get some flight thoughts. By the way, if you like this, please give me a subscription and a like, thumbs up down below. Give me comments. I truly appreciate them. I'm obviously not the guru that someone like Joshua Bardwell is, but I'm learning and I want to help other people learn because this is an awesome hobby to have. So I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. So close to a thousand. And I, like I say, I'm just grateful. Thank you. This is on F3 board, leader 120, just so you know. I uh, haven't done the F4s yet. First off, we're going to log in, activate bootloader. Ah, forgot that my buzzer goes off when I do that. Firmware flasher. All right, so we are actually doing development. The Leader 120 uses the Omnibus, and I was told 1196 and above. So I'm going to take the top development one. Omnibus 30, no reboot sequence, flash, yeah, literally leaving these default and going to load online, takes a second, added documentation, so nothing in release notes that I see, Whew, this all be fun, Let's see what's in here. I will say 3.5.2 flies pretty freaking awesome. So if you don't want to do a development, stick with 3.5.2. Feels pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Whole lot. But everyone said the filtering in 4 is so much better in the development kits. So being a little bit of a risk taker, I will do that. And if you don't notice, the COM6 did say DFU before. So now I've getting my beeping. Uh, Go and disconnect and reconnect. Multi Wii flight controller, beta flight 4.0 target omnibus. That's what we have. So now we're in good shape. We're going to run through it. Ports. This is for the leader 120, by the way. And what I was told is it's best to use the uh, thing. Rebooting, not so good. It's easy, it's just not easy. So, ports, Serial RX on UART 3, like I say, Leader 120. Configuration, I always do DSHOT 600, 4.7. I leave motor stop alone. Yaw is good. Arming, actually, I disable my accelerometer and my barometer because I don't use them. That will save up some of my processes. Uh, I am a serial based iBus. A little bit faster. I heard the air mode off will be okay, but I'm still leaving it on just for this one, just so I can have a good test compared to last. Anti-gravity dynamics on, on. And I always turn this off, but again, it always beeps. Who knows? Save and reboot. That's okay. Uh, let's go down. Uh, none. I don't have a current meter. I will change these, but for right now they're fine. I just don't want it to go off on me. Fail safe. Uh, I always do 8, so I get 0.8 seconds. I'm almost scared to reboot again. So the auto reboot, not so great. Worked better with 3.5.2. Don't know why it's not. And sometimes this quad does give some weird stuff, so I just get used to it. Uh, Alright, so I heard I can leave all of these default. Derivative default, feed forward default. I am going to put in my rates, 7.7. Seven. Seven 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 five seven five seven five. Yes, I fly with crazy rates. 
I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm going to drop this a little bit, make it a little bit sharper. Absolute control. Now smart feed forward. Not turned on, but I term relax is, and I'm going to go RP. I do like VBAT. I term rotation. Oh, that's the one for line of sight. So I term relax. This is the good one. I'm going to set it to gyro. So I don't know where the set point is. All right. Filter settings. It says bi quad, so we're going with bi quad. See if that works. PT1, PT1, bi quad is the default. That's what it was told. All of those seem to work. Save. Everything looks normal. Going to receiver. AETR. Low threshold of 1010. I still want filtering, but I don't think that's enabled yet. So let's see. 1010 save, but interpolation. Now, I will say interpolation whenever I did it with 352 worked great. So that's fine. Aux 1 and beeper Aux 5. And those are the only two I use. I will say the Leader 120 for turtle mode, it's just not worth it if you have any grass. So don't even, I don't even bother anymore. Uh, and that will do it. OSD, that's my other setup. Thank you. <laughs> I do use both on and fly, so I know uh, normally my racks tend to take up some time, and I like my timers. Don't have that. I do have, do have, do have, don't have, don't. Don't, don't save. Okay, and that is it. Uh, so it looks like there's not that much that's different on the actual setup going through. I'm sure in CLI there are some things I'll play with later on. But for right now, I'm just going to go fly it and see how it runs. I heard this was much better, much sharper. Um, latencies dropped and we're about to test that out. So wish me luck. So here we are version 4.0 omnibus blah 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 going through and about to take off here. One of the main things I've done for my leader 120 that I love is moving the camera to the top screw and that allows a lot more up tilt which allows a lot more speed which makes this a lot more fun. So as you can see it's flying pretty well and doing the little turns around are not causing any bobbles. The motor sounded a little bit harsher. I want to say there were a tiny bit, just didn't sound right, but I think it was more that my prop had clipped something and it made a kind of weird sound. What it did not do was uh, overheat my motor, so that was good. Um, these are, like I say, basic. I have not tuned anything and they have uh actually just taking care of most of the motor problems that i was having part of that could be it's 65 degrees fahrenheit today so it's not exceptionally hot but with the way i was flying here and in the front yard i would have expected the motors to heat up like they do on the version i was using the 4.0 performance edition that was off an earlier build i think what they have here is pretty freaking phenomenal honestly it does feel similar to the 3.5.2 in that uh, without the RC smoothing it just it feels very tight and feels very controllable I don't know how else to put it I'm trying in this to induce some uh, a good bit more prop wash 
and it's not happening. So whenever I did hear the prop wash going, um, that wasn't prop wash, that was me hitting the ground. But whenever I did hear it going, it would only bobble once and uh, I wouldn't even have to jab, jab the throttle, it just took care of itself like right there. Um, other than that, it flew very, very, very smoothly. That was me hitting a tree again and it flipped my quad around, so I'm going back around here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's doing pretty freaking awesome here. And finally getting low enough to go under that mailbox, which is one of my most fun things to do because I never thought I'd be able to do it. So yeah, uh, that should have, in my old version, that would have washed like crazy. So with that and that, but it seems like the new version works really well. Now I have to say 352 had similar characteristics with the prop wash. Um, and that it would bobble once and it's like it kind of just fixed itself immediately. This one has that, but it does feel a good bit sharper. Uh, just overall, it feels really good. Most of this is going to be something that, you know, if you're not, un if you're not comfortable with flashing a development version, um, a lot of this feels very, very similar to the 352. I am not an extreme pilot to say, ooh, I can feel 0.2 sec or 0.2 milliseconds of lag difference. I'm not that great of a pilot to say that. But I am definitely the type that can tell when something feels off or it feels like it's twitchy or jittery. And I gotta tell you, for this two inch or 2.8 inch, it just feels on point. I mean, I did nothing to the PIDs and it feels amazing. Throttle boost was at 5 and that's because this is a 2S flyer and um, it keeps me from hitting the ground like I would have done there. And essentially though, it's just this is a great version. So to wrap up with this, um, simply put, if you like 352, I would wait for the actual release of 4.0 and if you like uh, if you like being on the bleeding edge 4.0 is great personally I don't fly well enough to tell that much of a difference but I will say they're both very 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 good and highly recommended so if you're on 3.5 itself uh, go up to 3.5.2 or pop in the development and you will not be uh, you will not be unhappy or rather, you will be happy. So anyway, thank you so much for listening, keeping in this long. If you like this, give me a like and a thumbs up down below. Uh, leave a comment, suggestion, concern, complaint. If I miss something up, let me know. I always, always, always appreciate it. And I want to thank you so much. So y'all have a good one. Take care.